Hey guys, Jessica Beck here with IELTS Energy TV, and today I am going to talk to you about brainstorming um, for uh, IELTS Task 2 in particular. <laughs> um, okay, so guys, Perhaps you've taken an IELTS class and the teacher has told you in your brainstorm to write down everything you think of. That's kind of a lot of pressure. And you know what? It's a lot of wasted time. Time is of the essence in all over the show in IELTS, but especially in writing, right? So when you brainstorm, guys, only brainstorm what you need for a paragraph, okay? So you only need one or two reasons supported by very specific details and examples. You want to also brainstorm the details and examples uh, before you write because then you don't have to think of ideas while you're writing. I think this is something that a lot of people leave out. When they're brainstorming, they just brainstorm a bunch of reasons, a bunch of advantages or disadvantages, what have you. Okay, but first of all, you don't need all those. You only need one or two for each paragraph. And what is more important than that, the meat of the paragraph is the specific details and examples. So you should also be brainstorming those, okay? Or while you're writing, you're trying to come up with ideas. At the same time, you're thinking of linking words and vocab and grammar. So guys, help our brains make it easy, okay? So all of the ideas come up with in the brainstorm. And then when you write, you only have to focus on the vocab, the grammar, the linking words, okay? And remember, always leave time to check your work. At the end, you need to proofread so you can improve the vocab and grammar, okay? So for instance, what if the question was um, the advantages and disadvantages of school uniforms, okay? Um, I did a quick brainstorm before I recorded this today. Um, so the advantage, I think the first advantage that came to my mind was um, that if everyone looks the same in uniforms, then the kids cannot tell at first glance the socioeconomic background of each student, lending itself to an air of equality among the students, right? Putting everyone on equal footing. So the example that I thought of, and again, this is just, I made it up, guys. But it's logical. I mean, it's believable. So the example I thought of was there's a school, a public school in New York, PS 182. <laughs> I love how all the schools in New York just is PS and then number. Anyway, so school in New York City, PS 182, uh, instituted a school uniform policy in 2014. Since then, there has been an 80% drop in um uh, on campus incidences, uh, incidents of violence. <laughs> so again, I made it up, but it's believable. It's logical. It supports my advantage, my reason. Okay. So guys, remember when you brainstorm, only brainstorm what you need for a paragraph. And also remember to write down specific examples and details to include. Okay, guys, if you want the uh, complete template for task two for all the different kinds of essays and questions that you will have to deal with on the exam, as well as find out how to make task one easier, check out the Three Keys IELTS Success System. It is our course online available now. Go to allearsenglish.com forward slash K-E-Y-S. Okay, guys, that's it for me. I hope I helped you and good luck in your exam. I'll see you next time.